Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oak is the courage of, of character of a plot twist that you weren't expecting. And it's just like... um. All of us are going through something. All of us, you know, because it's funny. How, well, it's not funny, but it's just the way y'all drop uh, comments saying, Rosalind, you know, are you, you know, you, are you watching me? Are you knowing what I go through? It's like so many different things that I go through. I can resonate with the videos you put out. All of us is going through the same thing. You know, there's something that we're, we're trying to, you know, encounter into our lives. It's something that we're trying to manifest into our reality. You know, we're healing, forgiving, you know, understanding, acceptance, you know, allowing ourselves to have attitude of gratitude, you know, appreciating everything, not taking nothing for granted, you know, uh, forgiveness, letting go, cutting cords, you know, clearance, you know, purging, all these different things we're going through. And it's where you know you have gone through different things. There'll be times that you want to give up. There'll be times that you're confused, don't know your way out. You know, you feel stagnant. You know, um, uh, people are dropping out your life left and right, left and right, left and right. You know, it's just so much stuff that you're going through and not realizing everything that you're facing right now is giving you a next level of strength, you know, insight. You know, you're, you, know you could be walking through, you know, eyes wide shut. You know, and then it could be those certain situations that can somebody encounter into your life and it bring this, this blessing of some kind of knowledge that you needed through life lessons on what to do to move forward. What's the next step? You know, a lot of times we don't realize even when we connect with other people, you know, we may be having that question in our mind like what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And um, just for us, like communicating with other people, you know, we can have all kind of ailments. You know, and, and we can have the cures to them elements when it comes to other people. When it comes to us, sometimes we get straight confused. And and it's just like different things, you know, the road that we're on is not easy. You know, um, there'll be times you want to give up. There'll be times you want to wipe your hands of it. You're disgusted with yourself. You're disgusted with your surroundings. All those different things. We have, you know, a narrative insight for every single thing that we face. And then it will come to a time where you, you allow yourself to step out. And faith and you know this is what that is you know faith is something that you have to feel it's not you can see it's not not you can touch but this is an experience for you to do that you know uh, your patience is being tested you know your beliefs are being tested you know all these different things is taking place where you know it may feel make you feel like you're confused or stuck or anything like that but if you allow yourself to see you know I always remind you is like you, you're becoming something that it was forgotten for number one you're becoming more of who you are within the core of it without all the fear without limited beliefs any toxic patterns habits or thoughts you know all these different things and that's something that we go through it's like everything that we're going through is not comfortable because you're you know you're birthing out something new you are birthing out a whole new you that wasn't even expected because it's allowing you to remind you of what was forgotten what had to be place and you know we're all guys with amnesia you know and veils are just getting snatched off left and right left and right and there are certain things that we uh may have took for granted there are certain people that we may have taken for granted you know certain things that we wouldn't allow ourselves to accept you know we push our beliefs on other people we push healing onto other people but then you start noticing just because I'm a light worker doesn't mean I'm healing everybody. I'm not for everybody. A lot of people are not going to understand me. There's a lot of people that are not going to appreciate my value of myself. But from these different situations that we have gone through has created some kind of beast of power within you. You know, you see where you, you placed yourself in situations that you were taking for granted. You see how people manipulated you. You lied to you. You know used you as a puppet in some kind of way you know it made you feel like you know nobody doesn't see my value nobody doesn't see the worth you know the love that i give out is not being reciprocated you know then you started no noticing these experiences taught you to place love in yourself even when people weren't you know you were surrounded by hatred 
in every kind of way. You know, even when people didn't believe in you and support you the way you supported supported them and wasn't reciprocated, you allowed yourself to believe in me. You know, you have to be become your own best friend and you notice that. And a lot of times we don't realize that rock hardness of reality, of truth, even when it hits deep and it's hard to digest that. You see that was the best benefit for you. You know, because a lot of times if things coming in all love and light and jump like that, you may not embrace it. Like you do with those hard times. You know, you you know, you know, go through that spiritual awakening. Can't work at regular jobs anymore. The things that you're saying and speaking on. A lot of people thinking you're talking a whole language they can't even interpret or even translate. You know. And then you're starting to see things at a, at a, at a deeper value. You know, a whole v view of value. Let me put it that way. And different things. And it's just like a lot of times you'll start seeing. When you start growing, you start learning. Yes, there's going to be some days that you just want to say F it all. You know, even my own existence, I'm tired of living, I'm tired of breathing because this mess is getting too painful for me to keep, you know, sitting here. But these are those things to get your, your gears in motion and saying only, only way you can get towards that next level is you. It's not S-O-S, it's S-Y-L-S. Save yourself. <laughs> you know, it's, it, that's all it is. You're your own savior. You're your own superhero. You know, because a lot of times we feel like we got to stay around certain people to heal them. We got to be here to do this. You only, you're only responsible for yourself. The seed of experiences from the things that you go through is that way of healing. But just like you, you had to make that choice to heal. You can't force anybody else to do that. We can't be judgmental towards the people that are not wanting to do that. You are on your, your healing journey. You know, you're on your spiritual journey of learning yourself on so many different vibrations, so many different frequencies. There's opening a whole new doors for access of a you that you weren't, you know, prepared for, you know, and all these different things that you go through. And then you all of a sudden you'll start seeing, you know, blessings. I mean, like emotional blessings, like I'm glad, you know. Those people didn't believe in me. It showed me what I believe in myself. It's like I kept myself going. I became my own cheerleader. I cheered myself on. Gave myself hugs. You know. Gave myself presents of gratitude. Because of the things that I faced. From the things that I have accepted. From the things that I forgave. You know. Let loose of. You know. Allowing myself to see that was a lesson of a blessing. I needed to get to the next. You know. To the next. You know. The next journey. Within my life. You know. You change, switching up. So many ways, and they tell you, you gotta be, you know, you gotta be easy with yourself. You have to be gentle with yourself because you're birthing out something that was only talked about. You know, you're remembering who you were as that whole, but this is something that is is breeding something else. You know, we're breeding hybrids. These are, you know, these are things that was talked about many, many, many millions of years ago. To where it's coming out now. To where we're hidden in plain sight. We had to go through the worst of the worst. We had to face the worst of the bad. You know, you're going through things that a lot of people will hit pavement for before they even touch on looking to see how they, you know, they can handle different things. A lot of people run from truth. A lot of people run from self-acceptance. A lot of people run, you know, from pain. You know, but you are being forced to use these things. If you know you want to heal, you want to be unstoppable, you had to be that whole magnitude of a magnet. You're already a walking trigger. <laughs> you know, it, it's just the things that you're doing because you're you're able to project things that other people are wanting to disguise. You know, you're showing people just like they're showing you on what spots you need to hit to heal so you can go to that next level. You're all deserving of things. You're worth so much more. You know, because a lot of times we, you know, we want things in our lives. And we want love in our lives. We want peace in our lives. But we're not willing to do the, you know, we're not wanting to do the homework to get there. And you have to understand that's the way you're going to get there. You know, you had to go through the healing. You know, you're looking for, you know, that soulmate, that love of your life, twin flame or whatever. You had to go through that healing. You had to, you know, dig deep and bring everything to the surface, you know, that you, you know, they'll shake you to the core. But these are the way they're showing you that. You know, you had to be able to go through these things. So anything that you took for granted, you know, you're going to be placed in positions to where you're going to appreciate everything, good and bad. Everything, no matter if it was negative, positive, good, bad, light, dark, high, low, everything is going to be seen like this is a lesson I had to be at. It was like, girl, wasn't that, that, that bad? A dude, wasn't that bad? No, it was just a blessing, you know, of a lesson, you know, because a lot of times we go through some hardcore stuff.
you know, hardcore stuff. I am busy right now. I'm going about your business. Sorry about that. Y'all, my cat over here. You know, you want to go outside. But, you know, you're going through all these different things into your life where you can actually see everything that you faced was preparing you for that next level. Everything that you have gone through was preparing you for that next self. You know, they always tell you, keep showing up for yourself until you get all the way acquainted. You know, because when you finally get there, it's like, man, I've been waiting on you for a minute. You know, I was pushing you, like, keep on dropping these knowledge, keep on showing you this is how your life could be. You know, future ain't there yet. It's a thought of how it can be. When they put you, God and universe puts those insights in your head about this is how your life can unfold. But you have to have patience. This is how your life can be if you have faith in me and faith in yourself. This is how your life could be, you know, if you hold that belief. That things are all possible, you know, through me. You know, this is what God and universe is showing you. Everything is on your side. But a lot of times we feel like God's punishing us. You know, universe is punishing us. No, we're facing our, our karma. Because it's like you are, are your own void of karma. <laughs> you are, you know, and you had to be able to go through this. You know, there'll be a lot of things that we felt like we got away with, you know, when it comes to certain things because we didn't get told out. We didn't get spotlighted. You know, nobody didn't catch on. But God knew. Sooner or later, that was going to come around to you, you know. And now it's just like you going through the worst of the worst because you're clearing karma. And on top of that, you know, you're a generational, you know, uh, 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 of a mascot where everything stops. It didn't start with you, but it's going to end with you, you know. So you're not just healing from yourself from right now. You're healing from the parallels. You're healing from all the other different eras you were where you reincarnated, you know. And then the things that your family done passed on. And that mess, that heat got hot. You know, so you go going through all those different things. And then when you finally get to that spell of where you're in the fork of the road, they're showing you, are you going to take a chance with yourself? Are you going to go aim higher? You know, because a lot of times we fought against that because we feel like, oh, we got, you know, we use those excuses. I don't have time. You know, I, I don't know if I can fit this in my schedule. I got too much on my plate. We only gave excuses for us to become better. You know, we may not like the circumstances we in. We may not like, you know, where our lives are sitting at that point in time. And universe starts showing you how different things is coming up for other people. Then we got this envious vibe. We got this jealous vibe. We got that hatred vibe. You know, you asking like, what the, ugh, why can't it be me? It could be you. But these people put in work. You know, you can't get mad if you didn't put in the work for it. You know, and it's just like you're learning about yourself when you become unstoppable. When you start putting in work instead of putting in excuses. You know, you're not hating on other people. You're working on yours so you can get, that's a goal right there. That's reflecting you. That could be you. <laughs> you know, you stop sitting on yourself. Stop sleeping on yourself. Then you start knowing what you're deserving of. Because a lot of times when we wonder why people walking out of our lives, why we being mistreated, why this and this and that. Because it's showing you, you are worthy of a lot more. Okay. You are loved. If this is a situation that makes you lose sleep, makes you cry, makes you hurt. You know, that's not love right there. That's just a reality for you to be able to release. You know, this ain't, you know, you deserve so much more. This is why I took that out of your life. This is why we took them people out of your life. Because they, they already, done, you know, they done sit up there and went through their spell with you. You experienced that. Now it's time for you to experience something else. You know, oh, you connected with somebody and next, you know, they're out your life or they flip the script on you because the lesson was already learned. You got to find out what that that ending of, you know, just like when you were little. I know with me, I was born in 1977. So it's just like little shows that I watch. Mr. Rogers, Electric Company, <laughs> Pound Puppies, you know, uh, what what else is it? Uh, Fat Albert in the game, you know, uh, She-Ra and, and, and what is it? Rainbow Bright and Strawberry Shortcake Transformers, all those little things. They always had like a, a, a subliminal at the end and this is what it is what is subliminal telling you about this situation that you were in forgiveness you know place love in there where hate was place the love towards yourself this was showing you if you were dealing with toxicity and people not respecting you people not you know overlooking you not hearing you or wanting to choose to not do that that just showed you that's not love and if you were loving yourself these are the certain things that you are not going to pick you need to know your worth these are the things that showed you you know, this is not where, this is not where, this is, this is ending right here, but a new part is going to begin with you. You know, you had to go through your healing. Then you had to understand what things that you shouldn't accept or what certain things you should not select and certain things that you should entertain, you know. 
and from us making you know rash choices because things got un uncomfortable and we got impatient then we see where it just uh, didn't you know we done did a hundred paces and just from us doing those imp you know impulse decisions because things got too hot we don't realize it's because we jumped into something it's different between taking a leap of faith and taking a, a, a leap of impatience where it's giving all conscious signs wait then you know you wait for that signal that door didn't open for you yet and a lot of times we get mad because we try to manipulate certain things for doors to open quicker than we're ready for you know and we wonder why things didn't open yet because if you weren't spiritually ready for it yet anything that god and universe has promised you is to be destined for you there is already there you're just getting into that alignment of that and then when you start seeing you know where you start you know you start owning up to the responsibility where you add it towards your suffering you know you play a part on you holding yourself accountable. You know, allowing yourself to carry your own weight, not everybody else's. You know, allowing yourself to step back and not be a doormat or a punching bag for somebody who is not deserving of you, that doesn't care for you. You know, and showing up don't respect you. You start respecting yourself to where, uh uh, this is not for me. This is not, this is not sponsoring, nurturing my soul for my next come up. This is a put down. You know, you start seeing different things that you even encounter. Certain things or even certain people, and it, it's that that telling you, is this nurturing you? Is this something that's going to take you towards that next level? You know, because it'll do, you even notice that when you're going through that whole change. Could be an old conversation you come up with, or certain things that come up on social media where fighting and you know somebody finding out that they ain't the daddy to something, and you know you in it, you can't even watch that stuff no more. No, yesterday I was watching, um, I forgot what it was like, social media, something like Murder Made Me Famous or something like that on YouTube. Not on YouTube, but Netflix, where it was like Jenny Jones, uh, Geraldo Rivera, and, you know, uh, uh, Jerry Springer, Ricky Lake, and all that stuff, and Sally. I was looking, I even fell asleep like this. Uh, mm -mm. Even though I said it made me reminisce about it, you know, I, I couldn't even get past that one where it was like Jenny Jones, she was egging something on because it was somebody coming out saying they had a crush on him, and it was a dude, and then come to find out it was the, his best friend, and came out, and they said, you know, he, he's no more. You know, I couldn't get past that. I fell asleep. Like, this is not, I, I used to be encouraged by this. I used to be entertained by this, but this is something like, this is not something you need to be exploiting. This is not something, you know, people trying to cash in a buck, but this is where this is where lives are being damaged. I can't, you know, I can't even function with that. And it's showing me that my, my vibrations is not on drama. I don't like drama. I, I don't want to connect with that. And that showed me I'm changing. You know, me, I like watching things like every once in a while. I'll Hold on, y'all. I think my grandbaby's calling me. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to go check on my grandbaby real quick. But, yeah. It's like I'm more interested in spiritual growth, you know. Um, I still love my horror movies. I just don't watch them as much. And I love watching my crime shows, you know, like the true crime and stuff like that, you know. And it's like, you know, just being intrigued about how the mind works, you know, stuff. You know, because I always wanted to be like a forensic, you know, scientist and all that stuff where it shows, you know, hey, the bullet exit went this way from the wall and jumped like that. You know, so it always intrigues my mind on different things like that. But now I'm more on spiritual growth, you know, being able to heal, being able to forgive, you know, watching all those different things that, you know, nurtures my soul. And I started knowing, even though when I felt like, oh, why am I not moving? Why am I doing, you know, because I'm putting in the work and I'm just really ain't seeing it. But then it was just like I had to be able to tell myself, you're paying attention to the wrong things. You're looking in the wrong way because you are moving far more faster than you ever imagined. Just how you look at things. Just how you're able to move. You will even see little things that used to work your nerves. You're allowing yourself to say, if it's not in my control, I'm going to get it out of my mind. When you allow yourself to even know when you're venturing down something toxic that you know you shouldn't be. Uh, it irritates my soul. It's like, even if I'm wanting to push, it's something that's pulling me back. Like, I can't move forward. And it's showing me, you know, hey, uh, don't dabble in that. <laughs> you know? And you're starting to see that courage of character. Don't really build up from the circumstances you have faced, you know, from the, the treachery you had to go through, you know, through the healing of acceptance that you had to really put in a place. You're moving. You're no longer giving excuses for things, even if it's something like it's OK for you to pause for that. It'll be, it's OK for you not to understand what you're going, doing at that time. But when you allow yourself to have that talk with God and to have that talk with universe saying, I'm really trying to move. I want to get towards the best version of myself. Let me stand out of my way of my process and my progress, because a lot of times we don't realize 
we have so many blessings that's taking place. If we're focusing on what wasn't said, what somebody did, what we got, what we didn't get, what we're lacking, you know, you don't see the blessings that universe is showing you of what what you should be appreciating. Don't be so focused on the lack, but just show how to, you got that spiritual gain. And when you're allowing yourself to do that, when we see the change in everything, everything starts changing. But if we start facing up on, you know, hate and hurt, we suffer more. And when you're starting to allow yourself to see this is what happened, because it's like you, to me, I feel like it's like a, a self-diagnose when I see what my issue was. It's like, oh, what my issue was, I kept allowing myself to go through repetitive habits or repetitive cycles, things that wasn't even nurturing me anymore. It was a life lesson. I supposed to let that go, but I'm still holding on to it, you know, or if I'm feeling some type of way because I'm not being heard, it's because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm putting a voice out there that people are just accustomed to not wanting to hear. You know, so it's allowing myself to stop playing games on that. Stop wasting your time on situations that you already know is just there to be misunderstanding you. You know, when people are comfortable with misunderstanding you, people that wants to jerk your chain, you know, just to see if you're going, you know, you're going to move the way they want you to. And these are the things you'll start appreciating. This is the stuff that I had to go through for me to place extra love in myself. And know I'm worthy of something so much better. You know, if people want to bring towards drama towards me. I don't have to accept it. I don't even have to allow it to find me. If somebody says something about me, that's how they see themselves. That's not what I call myself. This is not what I define myself as. You know, I'm a new character every day. I'm a new person every day, every minute, every five minutes. When I allow myself to see what caught me in a low vibration yesterday, I'm going to make it be the top tier, the high vibration. I'm grateful for me being able to spotlight that to move on. You start seeing it. That was your plot twist. You already see it. You have control of what your destiny should be like. Not anybody else. You know, people can't block you from anything that's destined. You know, you start appreciating everything that comes your way, either and if it hurt you or it helped you, because what is hurting you is helping you. You know, all these different things, and you starting to see that was the plot twist within you. You are creating a reality that is destined for you, not what other people think that should be destined for you. You're allowing yourself to speak, even when it's coming from the heart. It's going to disturb some people. It's okay. You can speak to some people that truly understand you, and some people you be leaving in confusion. It's okay. You're going to be dealing with some folks that are just not going to like you. And some people are just going to be inspired by you. And that's okay. And that's where your plot twist is. You, you have a whole courage of character that's going to cause a lot of confusion. <laughs> and it's okay. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, I would love to give a po uh, post notification shout out to Carl Fulquet. Much love. It's good to hear from you. Uh, Tara Simone. Uh, and Andres Alvarez much love to you as well if you're new to the channel please drop me a line I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you um, I always leave my contact information in this description box below it's all about spiritual networking maybe you want you know you have questions about your purpose or certain things you have gone through that may seem way out there and crazy I always tell people I don't never see anything as crazy we do some very extraordinary things is rare unique <laughs> and extraordinary it's never crazy or anything like that because it ain't nothing normal about us but that's beautiful i don't like being normal towards anything i like sticking out i don't like being a carbon copy of nothing so you know i, I don't mind helping anybody with that just giving them that you know that deeper uh understanding of their purpose you know just trying to guide them towards that way of what was needed you know if i can't tell you from my experience i'll get you know hey from the folks upstairs be able to help you out as best way as i can whatever we speak on is confidential um i leave my link to my podcast as well on here um to my spotify to my podcast you know it's like it's not saying the same things as the videos it's on the same subjects but it's not you know some people you know on podcasts do you know do the audio and do the video but it's mine is just two different things so if you can't watch the video you can always listen to the audio so um and as well if you've ever felt generous you know the cash app you can drop a donation and greatly appreciate it so i hope you have a blessed safe week please be safe and responsible with everything you do whatever you're trying to manifest into your life i'm bringing so many beautiful vibes towards your way that you open doors to things that cannot be shut even when it gets overwhelming to see you know this can't be real i'm adding more to it because you do truly deserve that probably been going through a lot 
and it just seemed like certain things have just been delayed on, on, on your behalf and you really done gone through it. So that means that God is about to bless you with certain things that's going to be very extraordinary. So stay persistent and stay consistent. You know, you may want to quit today and next thing you know your blessing was coming in tomorrow. So allow yourself to keep moving. Never give up on your dream that you can't go an hour or a day without thinking about. You know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Peace.